semi-finals action here is the second-seeded City Reapers going up against the third-seeded Cold Hearts. Tough shot! Cold Hearts off to a great start here. Five-point game here, City Reapers down. They've been fighting their way back in this one. Michael gets blocked! Here we go, fast break, Jakai to Ibosa, all the way! One-point game, this is where stars shine. Pass, and what a slam! Cold Hearts take game one, 92 to 91. right here in the heart of Atlanta, Georgia at the beautiful OTE Arena for some OTE playoff basketball. We got some semi-final action. It is win or go home if you are a City Reaper. Cold Hearts won game one, and with the win here today, they will skate on into the finals to meet RWE. That was a very exciting matchup we just watched. I'm your host, Agent Zero, joined by my lovely two co-hosts, Duke Dennis. Hope you're having an amazing day. We got Davis today. Man, I hope y'all have an, an even better day. Okay, we're trying to one-up each other. I hope you guys are having a marvelous day. This is the second game of a doubleheader, and everything is on the line. In game one, Trey Parker played phenomenal. 110%, man, 20 points, season high, but he was doing everything. Three steals, he hit four threes, man. He is the difference maker for this team. When he's balling, bro, they're such a tough team to beat, man. Yes, yeah, season high again for Trey. This is like, when we talk about team leader, this is what I feel like a lot of people have been expecting from Trey all season long. It's nice to see that output on the offensive end because we've seen it all season long on the defensive end. And I think maybe the thing to highlight the most has been the three-point shooting for the Cold Hearts. They've been pinpoint. 110%, man. I mean, hey, Trey Parker, like I said, he had four threes. But of course, Mikel Brown. Hey, this Cold Hearts team was shooting like the Dreamers, man. AO contested three, man. But man, Cannon catching, man. Four for five from downtown. It was truly special to see. Yeah, if we can get that type of performance out of them again, I'm not gonna lie, man, we might have to send the City Reapers home, but I'm sure it's gonna be a close matchup. The game one was a one point win. On the other side of the ball though, the City Reapers is do or die for them. Oh yeah, I mean, they gotta win this game, man. It's, it's win or go home. Hey, agent, as you say, either you win or you go start the bus, man. Yeah, start the bus, man. Hey, start the bus. Hey, they had a late game collapse, man. They got outscored, man. And when it came down to it, they didn't know. They didn't do what they needed to do. They definitely did not do what they needed to do. And the, the cohorts was missing their star McDonald's <laughs> center, and they still wasn't able to take advantage of that. So, man, they're going to they gonna have to show us show us tonight, man. Yeah, they've been dropping some games the past couple of months, but they need a, we need their A game. Bryson Tiller gave his A game. I'll say that much, man. He went ballistics in game one. 20 points, 10 rebounds, five assists. He always comes, he always shows up, especially in the playoffs, man. We've seen it time and time again. Hey, he's gonna need to go a little bit crazy tonight, though. I agree. Like maybe man. 25, 30 right, piece. Right, right, right. <laughs> well, we got some high expectations. Let's get into the starting lineups first for the City Reapers. Team captain, Ja'Kai Howard. Up top, we got Bryson Tiller. Defensive player of the year, Amari Evans. Jaden Mustaf. And at center position, we got Big Ja, Ja Jackson. Now for the Cold Hearts. Michael Brown Jr. Samis Calderon. High flyer, Trey Parker. Haynan Dos Santos. And without a John Bowl, we'll see Ralph Martino Jr. Kenneth Catchings out today. Uh, played great in game one and all season long, really, it feels like for the Cole Hearts. They're going to be missing him. It's going to be so weird seeing the Cole Hearts play without him, man. Because he brings not only the points, but he brings the energy. Y'all know if he gets a bucket, he's going ahead and he's going to talk his stuff, man. So. They're going to have to step up even more. Yeah, arguably the best and second best player for the Cold Hearts out, that being John Bull and Cannon Catching. So, but look, if they could squeeze out a win today down two of their best players, that would be a surprise to me personally. But we've seen the Cold Hearts resurgence the past month, so anything is possible. This is very true, man. Coach Lato, man, 
he knows how to get these boys motivated. Yeah, man, there's John Bull on the screen right now. He was out last game. He was doubtful for this game as well. He will not be playing. So let's take a look at the playoff bracket. It was a good one. The first game of the doubleheader, RWE took it. They win the series 2-0. Cold Hearts trying to do the same here and meet RWE in the finals. We are getting peak prime RWE, and it's just a matter of who has to play that in the OTE finals. Man, I mean, it's going to be tough to stop them. I think RWE is such a hard matchup. Bro, I'm Wait, telling you, bro, like, I... I like RWE, and they definitely done turned into the team everybody knew they was. But I don't know. I, I like the Cold Hearts, man, to win it all if Bo, John Bowles is back. Okay. Well, let's introduce the fourth member of our broadcast team, Sniper Jones, for tonight's Adidas Faceoff. Hey, man, I got both of the main guys of the hour right now. First up, Bryson Tiller, no John Bow tonight. Are you looking to try to take advantage of any mismatch they got down low? Yeah, for sure. Just, you know, take advantage of what we got, which is size. So, you know, we're going to be doing that tonight. So, Trey, last night you came out hot. You was hitting threes all over, being able to play make for your team. What was it that worked for you, and how you plan on doing that again tonight? I ain't worried about that. It's another night right now. All my boys do is gonna play as a team. We're gonna win. That look in y'all, I'm gonna just go ahead and, yeah, I'm gonna go. Hey, look, he locked in right now. That look in his eye mean that he ready to get a W, and if they win, it's over with. Back to you guys. Oh, w eye contact tonight. Way to notice that. Hey, man, hey. <laughs> you gotta tell me twice, brother. Hey, we got some semifinal action coming with a tip off. Cold Hearts versus City Reapers, game two. I'm from around the way. I know what that looks mean. What does that mean, man? Get out fast. Bro, Snipe looked another man in his eyes. Okay. I can see by the look in your eyes. Yo, you know what's crazy, Sniper, though? And Sniper really... You know what's crazy, though? You know what, man? Dude, you might extend your shoulder with all that reach. You right. <laughs> you right. Hey, but you look, but That's look, insane. Snipe, but listen, Snipe, I'm I a... Have to, bro, you, do, are you forgetting I have, I have glasses on my head? I have to look? Snipe, listen, I'm a grown man. I, I, I'm, I, I'm all about accountability. I'll take accountability for their reaching right there. Bryson Tiller, entry pass. I just, oh. I, I just feel like me having a bob cam and I have to look people in their eyes, I think that's going unnoticed right now. Yeah, you're right. I, look, I, I took accountability for reaching. I really don't <laughs> know what more you want from me. Like, Okay, Ja'Kai got the layup, but Michael dropped to the ground. He might be not sure. Yeah, here's let's, the replay. Let's see, let's see what happened here, man. Okay. Huh, I wonder if he just... Is that a knee or an ankle? Let's not speculate. Let's hope for the best. Well, let's throw it over to our resident expert, Chris NXT. Insane. Wow. Sorry, guys. That was unnecessary. Chris yeah. NXT. <laughs> Trey Parker on Amari. You know the only thing I want in life, man? Is the Sniper Jones and Coach Doug vibe game, man. I feel like if I got that, I'd be very, very happy. Snipes got Coach Doug on a five cam. Snipe. Hey, Coach, man, is free throws one of the main things y'all worked on last night? Uh, no, we didn't have anything last night. Uh, we had a late shoot around. I mean, we didn't have a shoot around today, so I wanted the guys to rest. We had a long film session, um, and uh, I feel good with Tom not being here today. <laughs> I like the shot to Tom. Now, look, do you think that because you guys got a lot of bye weeks that y'all didn't play, you feel like that's giving you a disadvantage at all in this tournament? No, I think you still should be ready to play. I mean, having 10 days off, was it some uh, game slippage? Absolutely, but we're good enough to, uh, we've been had enough practices where that shouldn't be that much of a factor. Now you're back against the wall. You come into a game that's a must-win situation. What can you do to make sure that the player is not feeling too antsy and not getting too lost in the moment? Wow. Um, I just think God's got to bring energy. If we bring energy and play with a bunch of enthusiasm and know uh, what we're facing, I think it should be a fun game for uh, the City Reapers. Last question. You coach NBA talent. You've been around some of the best talent in the world. Do you believe that Davis was ranked? The who? Exactly. No, no further questions. Oh, Thank my you so much. God. Back to you guys. Oh, Oh my god. <laughs> That's a professional, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god. Uh, okay. Yo, no cap. That, that was the most. <laughs> All right now. Oh my god, that's perfect. Yeah. You went to a tryout. No, you did cold hearts, right? Yeah, I did it. You, you tried out for the cold hearts? Yes. Smoke it. Yeah, if you see a slight bias against the uh, Reapers. 
<laughs> oh, man. That was insane. He didn't even say no. He just said who. All right. <laughs> Foul call. Calderon pushed Ja'Kai. That was insane a little bit. Pre between the legs, 360. Game two right here. What's the odds we see two sweeps? Two upset sweeps. I don't know about that. Two sweeps, eh? Nah. Two sweeps. Nah, what a nice tough layup. Two contact. All right. Michael back in the game. From the court. This cold heart team just looks so different with I Coach Lato, huh? But they have to, yeah, no, 100%. I was gonna say, I thought you were gonna say they look different without John Bull and trying to catch it, but they're just so well coached. Oh my goodness. Oh, there you go, Trey Parker. Come oh, on, baby. Oh. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> That's that defense we talk about with Trey Parker. Yep. Amari. Amari Evans, man. Defensive player of the year. Well, would you be surprised that City Reapers got swept? Uh, yeah. I actually think this is a very even matchup. No John Bow, no cannon catches. It's kind of crazy. That would be bananas. That, that is true. But you know what's interesting? Another thing I mentioned, man, is that that 10 day break really does hurt, man. When you're not hooping and these teams are hooping, being the teams. Hey, just stop. Stop, 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 man. Stop, stop, stop. You gotta be ready to play, man. Stop, stop, stop. Yeah, of course you can be ready to play. I'm saying that I don't necessarily know if getting the, the first and second seed is uh, the best decision. I mean, I'm taking that, bro. Nah, I'm not risking Trey Parker, man. Quarters. AKA Marquette D Wade. Ah, okay. Oh, Lord have mercy. Let's not do that again. John Bull. McDonald's All-American for the Cole Hearts. He's been out. They won game one without him. So can they win without both John Bull and Cannon Catchings? If they can, I'm not gonna lie, and both John Bull and Catchings are in the finals, they might be the favorites. John Bull has had a fantastic season. Obviously, McDonald's All-American, but oh, yeah. just his ability to defend, change shots, and just his efficiency on offense is exactly where you need him to be. Good rebounder. A big loss, because unlike RWE, they don't have a player that could just fill in for John Bowl. They got Marcus Ponder, but it's not a John Bowl. A double-double machine is what he is, man. Hopefully, he gets back soon, man. John Bowl, the team is definitely missing. Oh, there, there, there they go right there. A double double machine is a underrated. It's underrated. Santos almost averaging a double double too. I think it was like nine and nine. This wasn't about Santo, buddy. I know, but it used to just be John Bowl, and now I'm saying there might be a second person. I didn't ask for that though. Oh yeah, never mind. I was gonna be quiet till you asked for something. Okay, thank you. I'm asking you to speak now. I will speak. Six six. Four minutes, 55 left to go. And for the viewers at home, man, that's how you really press so much. Yeah, you're such a tough and scary guy. I, I have no choice. <laughs> Big Ja had a pretty crazy transformation over the offseason. Dropped a lot of weight, got in better shape, and now he's defending some guards in the perimeter. I don't know how that's possible, but... He's been doing it. You know, the thing is, that's actually, like, a very skilled thing he's doing. Like, because he, he's not super athletic. That's just great sliding. Calderon, money. Like, Calderon, Hernando Santos, Ralph, they're going to have to play some pretty heavy minutes to pick up the hole that is Cannon Catching's not playing. Nah, no cap, like, I hope, I hope Cannon Catching's and Joe Bowl come back if Cohort make it to the finals if they make it to the finals if they make it to the finals. If. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man, I was ready for that. Wait, are they gonna make it to the finals? If. Oh, yeah. whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. You they saw that? Yeah, they missed it. Yeah. Okay, they got it right. 
Shout out to, to boss man number 40, man. Number 24? Referee. No, number 40 referee. Oh. Yeah. Right. Ball inbounded. Trey Parker at the top. Gets over to Mike Kell. Look to reset with 13 on the shot clock. Pick and pop. They're going to kick it cross court. Ralph, step back Go over Joe. Oh, no. Listen, man, if you need a three, hit Ralph, uh, Ralph Martino. They're looking at. They're looking to use Big Jaw down low. That size oh, is a pass. Very Jokic esque. Inside to Jaw. No call. Put back goes. 10 to 9. Only oh, three left in this first. I'm, about to say, I'm trying to see Trey shoot. This feels like when uh, you're in the first round in MMA. You're watching UFC. Uh -huh. and they're just filling each other out with jabs. Really, I, think it's, I think it's a good, uh, good comparison. Corner three. Hey, no. Nope. Corner three. Hey, more. Hey, more. Oh, man, for the people at home, man. <laughs> 10 9. City Reapers up one. There's three minutes left to go here in the first quarter. We'll be right back. City Reapers coming out aggressive with a 10 to 9 lead. Now, listen, whoever wins this game or the series will be going up against RWE. We literally just seen that RWE will be going to the finals off the back of Carter Knox. 30 points, amazing game leading them to the championship. Now, as we know, Cole Harsh was able to take game one in this game. So if they were able to get a W tonight, they would sweep the City Reapers, who is the number two overall seed, and go to the finals. That would be crazy. In the comments right now, I need y'all to tell me who's winning this game. Is the City Reapers going to force a game three, or is Cole Harsh going to take care of business today, tonight, and move on to RWE? I'm in the chat right now, man. I need to know. What's up? People are saying Rob Dillahan is going crazy at Kentucky. That is a fact. I've been watching a lot of Kentucky games my entire life. But since Rob Dillingham is with the Kentucky, I've been trying my best to make sure I'm at every single or watching every single Kentucky game because he is going absolutely crazy. I think right now as we speak, he's on a mock draft. He's supposed to be going six overall. It could change. But the talent here at OT goes without being said. It's a lot of players in the building right now. Idana Maza, Tyler Smith. They were once OTE alumni, well, forever OTE alumni, and now they're going to be playing NBA basketball in the same draft as Rob Dillingham as well. So that's kind of crazy. We might have five players drafted in the same round, which is crazy. So make sure y'all looking for that. I'm looking in the chat right now. I'm seeing Cole Hartz. I'm not seeing too many City Reapers. Majority of everybody think that Cole Harsh is winning this game. And I'm not going to hold y'all. Cole Harsh got a chance. Let me remind y'all. Cole Harsh is being coached by one of the best coaches of L. Let me repeat that. The best coach. <laughs> not one of the best coaches of OTE. Coach Lato. He got two championships. Why not go for three? If he immediately do three, he will be the Phil Jackson of OTE. Three-peating, getting three championships back-to-back -back like Drake now. Back to the game. See y'all later. Peace. Back with some first quarter action. This is a nice look. I feel like this matchup right here is like when the contender is as good as the champion. Oh, you, know, you know, like, in, yeah. It'll be like, I feel like no matter which way it goes, I can see that. Right, right, you right. Real. Real. See the Reapers, though, the past month or two, they've been dropping a lot of games. They basically held the first seed most of the season up until last minute when the Dreamers took it. They've been in so much, they've, they've just been in control all season long, so. Seems like teams might have found out their weakness. But no excuse for the Reapers, you win or go home today. No catchings, no bowl for Cold Hearts. You gotta win it. Snipes got Coach Lato on a vibe cam. Hey, Coach, coming into this game, you're a little light-handed. No John Bowles, McDonald's All-American, no cannon catches. What do you guys have to do to fill that void? You just got to support one another, you know, pick up the slack. Everybody got to play a little bit more, a little bit more intensely, uh, and just play more as a team. I've been seeing Ralph Martino begin a lot more minutes 
What has he been doing to earn those minutes and kind of contribute going forward? Tangibles, playing harder, uh, doing the small things that, that matter in the game. Now, this is a game where if you guys win, you will be headed to the championship to go up against RWE. What do you feel about that matchup? I feel you're a hater. You no neutrality. Where's your neutrality? Who you? you watch him. Why am I even talking to you? Hey, hey, don't judge me by the gear, coach. Hey, hey if you want, if you want to drop me up some cohort gear, I rock that too, man. I know you got it. I know you got it. Hey, coach, last question, man. Last question. You got Mikael Brown Jr., one of the best point guards in the country. Are you looking forward to him having a big game tonight? Okay, yeah, gotta have a great game. Thank you, coach. I'm gonna let you get back to it. Back to you guys, the bull. Yeah, I mean, a uh, little bias there. I'm not gonna lie, snipe. I miss the days when the vibe cam guy used to have a referee shirt on. Yeah, yeah, me too. I though, agree. I think I, we should. I, 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 I think I forgot what hoodie I had on when I had to go by. I low key. I low key. And he's looking at my chest like, what team you on? I'm like, what are you talking nah, about? I low key think we should get those days back, man. I'm a. I'm, I'm not wearing make, a referee uniform. I'm about to make the boss call. Make sure you. We should allow the only person who talks about his referee history to wear a referee shirt. Ja. Double zero. Double O. It's yeah, just double O. I have to on the referee shirt. I'm going to be honest. Yeah! And no, I didn't work at Foot Locker. I was a wheelchair basketball referee, men's league, and youth basketball referee. If you watch any game this season, you know this information. AJ, we're calling Jayden. you double O from now on, man. I mean, I'll take that. Jaden! That was your rank, buddy. Double O. <sighs> All right, bro. Like, I never claimed to be a hooper. No, I was actually talking about Davis. Not sure. Oh. Quick touch. Hey, close back. Quick touch. A full stop. Quick High touch. ball game. Low scoring game, too. Hey, by the way, man, hey, AO is also signed to the Adidas family, and he's rocking. Oh, wow. Uh, he's actually rocking a non issue. Shoes. That's crazy. He has unreleased shoes on. He's wearing an unreleased colorway that nobody has. I talked to him about it before the game. He said he's one of the only people to have it. You know, from from Adidas, man. Welcome Dang. to Adidas family. Ifosa, no, but Ja, yes. Who does Ifosa game remind y'all of? Uh, it's a guy I knew back in Ethiopia. All right. That that was okay. Prime Gerald Wallace. Yo, that's good. No, he does not remind me of Gerald oh, Wallace. That's good. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. good. Charlie 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 that's Gerald a Wallace? good one. That's a good one. I, I, I thought it was pretty soft. Or like, I like or that. Like Sean Marion. No. Oh, I went berserk with that. Good idea. <laughs> what? Got you first. Got Sean Marion. Got you first. You Last you three for Michael. Let's check it out, man. That's, right over, hey, that's young Trey Young right there. I'm just letting you know. I'm letting uh, Davis, know. you were ranked guard, so tell me, in that situation <laughs> where you have a center on bro, you, you're crazy. a guard, bro. Should you not drive that? No, AJ. See, that's the thing. I'm glad you Parker. asked me. I'll explain it a little bit. Yeah, we don't want to hear that. Let's talk about Amari oh, Evans. Uh, he got defensive player of the year, Davis. You know a thing or two about defense. Yeah. Uh, City Reaper is the best defensive oh, team in the league as well, so he's been the head of that snake. Amari. That's real, man. Come off job. Your call. Yo. Where you at? I'm on the practice court. I'm about to come find you so I can give you this paperwork. Hey, who I tell you the guy that can make a whole lot of money in the NBA? P.J. Tucker. Congrats on winning defensive player. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate Proud you, boy. <laughs> the people have spoken, bro. Congratulations, bro. You earned it. Appreciate it. You know how I feel about you. I'm proud of you, kid. <laughs> Proud. Mario Evans had a fantastic year. I mean, you see basically every single possession. If you just focus on him on the defensive end, but he is getting his hand on the ball all the time. Intercepting passes, great defensive player, and solid offensive player as well. In a league full of talented guards, too. I mean, that's a guard that likes it. Ian Jackson, Eli Ellis. Yeah, he going there. He going every team's best player. And usually giving them their worst halves, worst games. Well deserved, man. Cedar Reapers are switching on everything right now. They're trusting themselves to. Uh, they don't feel like there's any mismatches. Hey, Sniper, there's Amari Evans, and who else thought that they could be the 2v2? Oh, wow. That was tough. That was tough. Great move to end the first quarter. 
16 to 15 is the score. Cedar Reapers up one. We'll see you at the top of the second. amazing game right now on our hands right now it's 16 to 15 city reapers is winning now listen i told y'all the stakes right whoever wins this series will be headed to play rwe and the championship so it's a lot on the line i talked to the coaches i talked to the players and you can only imagine what the nerves is like for all of these teams and the atmosphere in here is insane it's one of the best showings if you have not came to an ote game yet you need to pull up playoff time is the best time i'm in the chat right now man a lot of people are seeing a broom so i'm assuming you think the city reapers is going to sweep I'm, I'm sorry, the cohorts are going to sweep the City Reapers. I'm not going to hold you. The City Reapers have the best defensive team in the entire league. Bryson Tiller, top five in the country. He still hasn't even committed yet. He's only a junior. Then you got the defensive player of the year in Amari Evans. Not to mention the defense that Ja'Kai Howard has been playing and Big Jai down low with just... Bro, Jaden Mushoff, this team is completely packed with some of the best defense in the league. So don't be so sold on the sweep. That's all I'm going to tell you, bro. Anything can happen, all right? Also, people were saying RWE. Shout out RWE, man. They, they came here and they did what they had to do. Now, look, we talking about one of the best scores in OTE. Matter of fact, he beat the scoring record. Eli Ellis is the best scorer in OTE. He broke the scoring record. So many 50-point games, and somehow, some way, they sent them home. So I got to give RWE and my boy Cam Wilder some love for being able to do that. I'm not a hater, man. Shout out RWE at the end of the day. Cohart's got the talent, though. Even though Cole Harts might have the talent, you heard the story. Defense wins championships. Offense might win games. Back to the game, man. This week at OTE, man, the last game, the YNG Dreamers actually got an L against RWE, 85 to 77, which means RWE is advancing to the finals and they will be win they will be playing against the winner of this series, either the City Reapers or the Cohart. Fellas, how do we feel about RWE beating the number one seed and creating a lane? Man, I, I called I, it. I think RWE is tough, man. I think they're such a tough physical matchup. I think they played some great basketball ever. Very, very talented team, man. They are a very, very talented team, man. And, you know, they play some, they are, they are a tough physical matchup. So. Yeah, I think they're a very talented team. They're a tough physical matchup. Very original, fellas. Very original. Thanks, man. Robinson, he's been great. Been solid all playoffs long. Doing exactly what his team needed of him. Another steal here for the City Reapers. Uh -oh. Ball off to be And in the layup. Oh. Amari uh, layup and one. Yeah, his, he, he accidentally, uh, you know how sometimes you go for a layup and you accidentally go for another layup? Why ain't you running? You know, like, when you guys hoop back where you live and stuff like that, Duke, South Carolina, and Davis, Atlanta. Yeah. Um, if you call and one while you're going up Ooh. with a shot, are you calling foul? <laughs> no, 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 no. So <laughs> and one is, and one means I, you just fouled me, I played through it, and I still made it. That's what and one means. So if you if you if you call and one you can't call a foul after it. You know I didn't play like that growing up. When we call and one it was like an ego thing. Like I don't care you just fouled me, I'm still gonna drop the bucket. That's, that's literally what he just said. Though. I think no, the main no. thing it, is it, don't expect to get this basketball at the top of the key if you call. Oh, and yeah, one. if you say it's a foul call though. So and one is, is, a, is a foul call. For yeah, you. yeah, yeah. You yeah, can't, nah. If you say and one you're and not you don't make it, it and you don't make it you're not getting the ball back. Like, so like if you say and one is a way of saying foul. No, and one and one is it just. It's like, like, I'm tough if I make this. Yeah, I'm <laughs> tough if I make this because you, you, you obviously foul. Mm -hmm. But I, but I'm yeah, playing yeah, through it. There's low key no reason to say Air One. I just realized it. Huh? There's no reason to say Air One. Yeah. Because why, why not? There's no reason to say Air One. No, no, no. Air One is, Air One is just letting the defender know and everybody else know. I'm, I'm fouled right now. And I'm way better than you. Yeah, it, it's a, it's an ego thing. That's it. Okay. So two different ego ways. Yeah, I, I, I get what you're saying. Yeah. Like it's like I, I'm not calling this, but I, but I was fouled and I'm still gonna make it. Robinson passes out, ball tipped by Trey Parker. Ball up top, man. And one. Nice and spam, man. Like, I know I'm shooting an air ball. 
on a foul, I'll just say and one. You say and one? Yeah, that was a beat. Mustaf spin to job ja, floater. Okay. Rolls in. Soft touch. You see the Reapers trying to run away with it, too. I'm low key beeping. Eight point game. Hey, yo. Gets the screen from Marcus Ponder. Fade away. Nope. Rebound goes to Mustaf. He's pushing the tempo. Mustaf. Oh, my goodness. Look at the City Reapers are getting back in, in, in form, man. They're getting back in form, man. Coach Little needs a timeout. Because the Cole Hearts are having one of their cold starts. Oh, my Lord. That yes. was not good. Oh, my Lord. I yeah. like he was doing uh, slam poetry. <laughs> okay. Are we, that's what we're doing, bro. Uh, bro. Bro said the Cole Hearts are having one of their cold starts. <laughs> that's, 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 that's crazy. <laughs> Star Kitty, Vince Braun. Nah, nah, Star Kitty, Braun gotta go. He old, man. He gotta go. Uh, Star, Star Kitty, Bench Curry. Yeah, LeBron gotta go. LeBron gotta go. Star KD, Bench Braun, Cut Curry. Wow. Uh, I am going to start LeBron, Bench KD, Cut Steph. <laughs> Definitely defensive reasons. Okay, uh, first of all, I'm starting LeBron, I'm benching LeBron, and I'm cutting Steph and KD. LeBron, I want you to know, man, be listening, man. I'm, I got a lot of love for you, LeBron. I'm starting LeBron, and I'm cutting. No, I'm starting LeBron, I'm benching Curry, and I'm cutting Katie. Only because, think about. I'm keeping Curry. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, think about, think about LeBron being on the bench, right? And think about the firepower that Curry. Like, that's a whole new 35 points. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's a whole new... I know, now, I know KD can give you 35 easily, too, but There's Curry, a, bro. That was Carter Knox right there. It's, he doesn't look happy, but he is, because he is headed to the OTE Finals after his big win earlier today. I just feel like I'll, I'll take the, the negative of the defense from Curry just because of what you can... how deep you can stretch the floor and how consistent he is. You know what's interesting about that? Fade away. Oh. Down on the rebound. What's the interesting about that? The interesting thing about that is that um, Katie can technically do everything that Curry can do. No, he can. Oh. Oh. The finisher, I should say. Really? Yeah, Katie's been a lot more timid with the finishes this year. Right. You know, Lowe got in a, a Twitter space with him. I do and remember told that. Him that to his face. <laughs> that was hilarious. That was hilarious. But I mean, considering all the injuries Katie's been through, I'm blown away he can still play at that level. Most people like that. Hey, you're out for your career. Oh, I missed the putback. Jaden Mustaf with the ball at the top. Five minutes left to go here in the second hey, quarter. Hey, the City Reapers can run away with this thing. Like, what stood out to you about the City Reapers offense? Cross court uh, pass, called their own in the corner. You know what? Nope. They don't have, you know what I'm forgetting? They don't have panic catch. That's why they, they have no instant offense. They have no one dribble pull up. They have no jump ball in the paint. But I think it's, it's really apparent that can, that can and catch is not being here is really apparent. <laughs> Yeah, Cole Horace, man, it is midway in the second quarter, and they still have 15 points. Looking like the Dubs. My goodness, Robinson blows another kiss. Oh, that's a celebration, I think. Right, right, right. I mean, I mean, like, oh. Splash. Like, I'm not, I'm just calling it as a No, 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 you, you were 100% correct. Yeah. That's weird. Most of the time, people, oh, here's Park right. here's a replay. Most of the time, people will like shoot a bow and arrow, stomp. I actually like that. He blows a kiss. Jason uh, Kidd, man. That's what Jason Kidd used to do before every free throw. In low key, I'm about to steal that. You gotta steal that? Yeah. I'm gonna stop blowing kisses now. Be original, bro. <laughs> Did you know that nothing ever is original? Yeah, but that's like delivery, bro. Sniper. Nothing's new, but yeah. you could definitely be original. Hey, Sniper, your fits are. Delivery back. Bryson Taylor playing Trey Parker. Oh my goodness. I'm about to say he can go to you, but they him. Five seconds. Ralph Martino, the GOAT show. He's got to throw it up, man. Ball picked off by guess who? Amari Evans. Uh, Yo, this is getting nasty. Robinson. 
drives. What in the world? Gets blocked, and that has to be something. Yeah, travel called. 28 to 50. Cold Hearts just can't get anything going. It's been rough for them. We'll be right back. Hey, man, the City Reapers are starting to go absolutely crazy, and this lead is starting to balloon. It's looking a little nasty. It's almost out of hand. 28 to 15, the last time I talked to y'all, it was a lot closer. I feel like now the Cole Harsh is definitely starting to understand the loss of John Bow and Kenny Cashin. Just for a little background, John Bow is committed to Ole Miss. He's a McDonald's All-American, leading the league in double-doubles, and he's a really big, important piece of the team. Not to mention, you got Kenny Cashin's. He's headed to Purdue. He was a McDonald's All-American nominee. And offensively, he's been, like, one of the best players the entire playoff so far. So it's a very big it's a very big depth that they're missing right now. They're they missing two of their top guys, and I feel like they definitely started to show it. Chat, let me know how we feel, man. A lot of people are saying RWE is on top. And y'all saying RWE can beat the Pistons? Let's keep it a bean, okay? The Pistons have Asar Thompson. When Asar was here, he was going absolutely crazy, hitting game winners, and it's very – same playoff atmosphere. I don't think they can beat the Pistons. I don't think I don't think RWE that good. I'm keeping it a bean. They they good, but y'all getting out of pocket. All right, Let, let's calm down. All right, what's on my glasses? Fun fact, bro. When I'm doing a Bob cam, these are my camera. So when I'm doing a Bob cam, people look at me. They see this. That's the camera on my glasses, just for everybody who wanted to know. What else we got, man? OTE start bench or cut a men Asar Eli. That's tough. Okay, so I'm starting. Asar, actually, Asar is my favorite oh, um, when it comes to Thompson brother. I think Asar got it. He got the jumper. Even though it might not be showing in Detroit, just relax. I'm a bench of men only because I have no other choice. And I got to cut Eli. Shout out Eli, man. But, I mean, the Thompson twins can do everything. They can defend, score, pass, rebound. They can do it all. So, I'm starting him, cutting him. I feel like it's pretty solid. That's a good question, though. I'm not going to hold you. Um, last but not least, make sure you're checking out Romello's show. I'll get up with y'all later. I just didn't want to lose the game. And somehow, some way, the short-handed Cole Harsh fellas won the game. We all came together and won the game. When you start a race, you know that you're going to have some speed bumps along the way. Bro, get that camera out of my face, bro. But to culminate all the things that we've been through with a championship would be a reward for those guys like none other. All the hard work, all the sacrifices but ultimately win it all. That's the goal, that's the ultimate goal. Whole hearts, inconsistent at the start, but man, they've really ramped up and perfect timing for them. But without two of their best players here today, they've been struggling. They just need to survive, man. Yeah. The question is, the question is, will Ketchins and or Jumbo be back by the next game? As a two. Hey, Funny. if you need some instant offense, Ralph Martino. I'm, hey, hey, I'm not even joking. I'm serious. Some people call it a two. Other people call it a bucket. You know, Jumbo was doubtful for this game Yo. up until, like, late. That was almost a tackle, huh? Oh, he had his push-ups and kept him moving. <laughs> hey, I just want to let you know, man, this is not a joke either. Referee number 30 said Sniper is the worst shooter out of all the broadcasters. Why do y'all call him Sniper? Hey, man. Chat said the refs came from Timu. So. <laughs> oh, oh that's insane. Yo, he had a quick response <laughs> before I even finished. And Chat didn't say gotta, that. You said that, Sniper. Gotta be quick on your feet, buddy. <laughs> I actually just got a call from production that, hey, Sniper, they want you to go put the referee jersey on. I'll do it. Put me on. Hey, the last thing, you'll be getting a call saying they want you to put a jersey on, buddy. Coach don't even know you. Cross court to Trey Parker on the drive. Oh, Left-handed layup misses. Hey, that was a that was a dunk opportunity. I, I, I thought he could have literally went no, for a crazy yeah. post on the guy. I think I think Trey Parker gonna have to. Oh, Bryson Tiller. He gonna, gonna have to do this. He gonna, he, gonna to do this. He, he gonna have to do that right here. Oh my! Oh my! Whoa! Bryson, up, 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 Bryson up, up, Tiller up, up, up. might be the best post good, player in OC. I literally good, asked him, "Do we put on taking advantage?" He looked at me and said, "Yes." Here go, we go! 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 This could be ugly. Hey, hey, hey! Drag, drag, corner field! Corner field! 
And they're running corner seal for Look those of you who don't know. Look at Skip. Basically, they're going to go to the corner and then hit him in the post. He's going to hit him in the corner at the top of the key. He's wide open. You know. And then they get the rebound. Doesn't matter. So now's the second opportunity. And no. Murray. Now, when you play at, at a high level of basketball, you know that play like the back of your hand, man. First half actions coming to a close, but we got the OTE halftime show coming up next. We'll give you first half highlights, a feature on Ja'Kai Howard, and more. Stick with us. Bryson Tiller at the line. First free throw. Boom. Bang. Ja Jackson. He checks in. Wow. And we had some great chicken right before the game. Man, it was the juiciest, best season. Perfect amount of spice. Melted Dumped it right. in the ranch. Melted oh it. God. Melted right in my mouth, man. Seriously. Man. 32 17, Cole Hearts. They got too much talent to go out like this, man. Well, we can't get Game, they had a good game. No, this, this they're, game they had a bad. They're incomplete though. Cannon catching makes it seem now, Davis. You, since you're a ranked guard, tell me. There's like when there's a player out, especially an important player on your team. What's your mentality like next up? Oh! Oh! Jackson. So listen, with authority. Man, I used to always talk to my backup point guard, oh Ralph Martino. Oh man. Yeah. Someone yelled, smoked it on the court. <laughs> Ja'Kai, wide open, three that, ball. That right there might be a dagger. <laughs> a dagger in the second quarter is nuts. <laughs> oh, Davis, what? Listen, man. What were you saying, though? Listen, man. So I used to always talk to my backup point guard about this, man. Listen, man. It's all about filling in with that person once was. So let me explain, man. Say a and a basketball team, right? Say Duke Dennis is out. He was out, right? When we played RDC and we still beat them. I feel like you're not listening anymore. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to lie. I zoned out. That was a great pass. <laughs> All right. Anyways, when we beat RDC with Duke, we had Chris get the rebound. We had me run the point guard. Right. We had Phantom knocking down the shot. Nice move from Amari. All right. That was a little too easy, man. <laughs> I don't think you would get to your point fast enough. If there's ever a rematch, can I get in that six-man room? 100%, man. Appreciate Not it, buddy. Yeah. We beat them without Duke. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, Doug Martino. Hey, man. It cuts the lead down to, the <laughs> to just 14. Yeah, down 14 in the second quarter, you dug yourself in a very bad hole in the semifinals. On pace for 44 points. Hey. Oh, Oh my goodness. Calderon pushing the tempo. Oh man. Oh, I see it. Bryson Tiller. Hey, hey, I see it. I see it. I see it happen. And it might be the spark the cold hearts needed. Wow. Some meat. Yo, that was oh, tough. And he he moved with intention. Yeah, that's left hand finish. And you can too. tell when he was at half court, he had bad intentions, man. Bryson this... looked like slow to. Yeah, he lo he loved it though, too. He only did it like three times this season. Yeah. All right, all right. Hey, hey, once, hey, remember what I said? Where's the, where's the, uh, the marker? Remember what I said? When the ball is up top, they're trying, I don't care where they're trying. Yeah. And then if front as much as you can, and, and somebody either side's got to get right here or right here, all right? And then that pass is going to be made, and then it's a shorter closeout here, and then we'll have help, all right? All right, we need one stop for the end of the half. One stop for the end of the half. All right, let's go. Go, go, 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 go. Might be the pep talk they needed. A little bit of energy from the Cold Hearts. Might wake him up right before the second half. Not much time left in this one, though. In this half, I should say. 
Yeah. Duke, how you feel the game's been going so far? Fantastic, Agent 0 I'll tell you, man, it's, it's been fantastic, man. Uh, I, I really am a little disappointed, though. Why are you disappointed, man? Because, you know, the cold hearts, even though they're down two, down two. Five seconds and a half. Main uh, now, this, players. This is insane. Bryson Taylor first. The whole time, oh, Bob Peter. 42 to 24. Double O, talk to me, man. Yeah. Duke, talk to me, man. I don't want to talk to you. I'll talk. Snapper, talk <laughs> to me, man. Hey. How are you? All right, I'm done. Who has 42? Oh, All right. You said what? You said. Excuse me, my math is a little bit off. It's 39 <laughs> to 24. Man, City Reavers are clobbering the cards. Cards on pace for a cool little 44-point game, 48-point game, man. They got a math is cooked. Yeah, I know catchings and John Bowler are nice, but it can't be it can't be that bad, man. We got the player of the half so far, John Jackson. No John Bowler today for the Cole Hearts. John looking to take advantage. Five for six, 12 points and six rebounds. That's a good stat line, Davis. 100%, man. He's out here balling. Easy double-double on the way. Yes, sir. We're joined with him right now. What up, Ja? What up, my boy? Hey, man, you know the Cole Hearts, uh, they're missing some of their key pieces right now. And I know this is a must-win game for y'all. What's your mindset going into this? Um, we're just trying to play defense. You know, it starts on the defensive side, so we're just trying to get stops and, you know, play together. And, you know, that's just going to lead to offense. So I feel like that's what we just got to do, focus on the defense side. And get stopped. Is the ball running through you? Um, it's running through, you know, just our bigs, you know, trying to just see the advantage. We see how we got the advantage since JB9. So we're just trying to take advantage of that. So. Uh, and, and how much better would you say you are than Marcus Ponder? I mean, you know, Marcus, he's young, so he's still got time to develop. <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> kudos to him. He's still got time, so I ain't really. Hey, great PR answer. You can head back to the locker room, man. Appreciate you for joining us. Yes, sir. 39 to 24, City Reapers up big. Second half, well, let's start with the halftime show coming up next. We'll be right back. Hey, man, it's a lot more basketball to be played, but during this break, I'm in the chat and I've seen the question. Someone asked, actually, it was Madeline Perez. Who's better, Agent or David? Now, this is actually kind of tough because Agent got a post game. You know what I'm saying? He, he's a little bit more stronger than Davis. But Davis got a nice handle. He can get to the cup. And he can shoot the ball sometimes, too. So I'm going to go with Davis winning that 1v1 for sure, okay? Next, we got who's a better dunker between Ja'Kai and between Trey Parker. That's tough because you're looking at two different dunkers. Trey Parker... His dunks are a little bit more impressive because you see somebody who's a lot shorter than Ja'Kai. And when you see him get up to the basket, it's just kind of amazing to see somebody that small be able to do those type of dunks. 360, the windmills between the legs, kind of crazy. Now, Ja'Kai on the other end, his head is literally above the rim every single time. If I had to choose between one, I'm going to probably go Ja'Kai. I'm not going to hold you. I, not by a lot, though. Ja'Kai by a little bit. Make sure you all spam in the chat, too, for more questions. Also, we got is Ja seven foot. Ja's actually seven feet tall. And he lost a lot of weight coming into the season. Last season, Ja was a little overweight. I believe this season, man, he lost close to like 30 pounds or maybe even more. Not to mention, dude is literally looking like Debo out here, bro. And like majority all muscle. He's definitely been getting his work in in the training room, been working out, getting ready for the season. And as y'all can see, it's paying off because he's five for six, 12 points, and now they're winning. And it's looking like they're going to win this game, too. I'm not going to hold you. Last but not least, why you got on a City Reapers hoodie? <laughs> It's rigged. Okay, listen, buddy. I went to my closet just like you. I've seen this. It go with the fit. Hold on. Let me get the, you know what I'm saying? It go with the fit. Does that not make sense at all? Can I not get a hoodie that go with the fit? Come on, man. See y'all later. Peace. Welcome to the OTE Halftime. It is your boy, Sniper Jones, alongside my guy, Cam Wilder. Cam, we got a game, brother. We got a game. We do, man. Uh, this is an entertaining one. City Reapers taking over right now, though. They are, man. Now, I'm kind of surprised that the cohorts are coming out so flat. But then again, once you think about it, no jumbo, no cannon catchings, no competition. That's two big losses, man. Cannon scoring, what, 20 points a game recently? John Bowles, your rim protector, your big guy that can kind of hold down Ja Jackson. When you ain't got those two, yeah, yeah, you're asking for a lot. Now, we mentioned no John Bo, right? He's a big man. 
And it's very important because I got a chance to talk to Bryson Tiller. And I said, are you going to take advantage of the paint? He said, yes. As you can see, they're abusing the paint right now. That yeah, should have been their game plan. Feed BT and feed Jaw and take it to the rim the entire game. Their tallest player is probably Samis. Now, now they got they got Marcy Ponder. Off the bench, but starting, not, yeah. starting, uh, they don't really got no, no height. So I take it to the rim every time. Now, you mentioned Marcy Ponder is on the team, but he's not getting a lot of minutes. And now they're getting all their points in the paint. Are you surprised that Coach Leto didn't start Marcus just for the offset? Not really. Um, Marcus, he, he's still young, uh, but you got to go with your older guys uh, to kind of, maybe he went small ball to see what could happen, but I don't know, maybe you start Marcus second half. Who knows? We'll see. Speaking of some of the hot, most high-flying duggers from earlier, Ja'Kai Howard is without a doubt one of the most high-flying duggers. Let's get to know him a little bit better. I joined OT last year. Now I'm back for my second year. Yo, he cannot miss from three. Highest jumper in OTE history. The defense by Ja'Kai Howard. Coming into the season, I'll say my biggest goal would probably be to, for one, commit, you know, finding, finding the university that fits me the best. College, you know, it's always been a dream of mine to just be able to go to college for free. Not have to, to worry about my mom having to stress over that. Having a free education is always the biggest thing. With that being said, I'll be committed to Auburn University. Go Tigers. I just feel like me being close to home with my mom, not to being too far from Atlanta, you know, just having that family relationship with Coach Bruce was just the biggest thing. Jakai has so much potential. We've seen him in bursts last season. He was the energy guy, but a brilliant opportunity for him to step up. I feel like last year was more of a, a learning experience. You know, a little difficult. It's always going to be difficult when it's your first year into something. This year was a lot more mental toughness, you know, fighting through injuries. Whatever it is, and like, you know, be there for your team, especially now that I've got more of a important role this year. Helping the younger players was a goal of mine coming into this year because I know how all the struggles I had. Just having a, the, the mental statement of just, you know, being better, being better at everything I do. But he's an all-around player and an amazing leader for the City Reapers this year. I had told Coach Doug from the beginning, like, coach me hard. If you want to get where you want to get to, every step is hard. Every step is hard. So if you accept that it's hard, you're not going to get where you want to get to. He's been there. Coach G Lee, coach also great players. Good, Ja'Kai. That's the drill, Ja'Kai. Really using him to really just push me to be better as a person, a better teammate. Set it to him, set it to him. Yeah, there we go, there we go. A better leader. The other attributes other than outside of just scoring the basketball, like in the real world, being a, a man. Cam, as you can see, man, the City Reapers looking like they're going to get a W tonight. It's too early to see. It's a lot of game left. What team are you more afraid of? City Reapers? So I'm not afraid of anybody. Okay. I think we can beat these teams pretty easily. But size-wise, Reapers match up with us the best. So um, I, I'm going to go with the Reapers. You going with the Reapers? I'm going to go with the Reapers. I, I, I think the cohorts, man, when they got a full team, I feel like their offense is insane. Their offense is cool, but physically, I think we outmatch them. Uh, City Reapers physically can match up with us, so I'm going to go with them. All right, man, there's a lot more basketball left. Don't go nowhere. Second half action on the way. Women's basketball is really taking off, and overtime is a huge part of that. They always approach us with positive vibes. Overtime slide. It's kind of like a gateway. Women get a chance to like do their thing in basketball, just like men can do. It's a way for us to continue to uplift women's basketball and help them to become the best that they can be on and off the court. Competing with the best players, the content we're gonna create, the connections we're gonna make. I'm just so excited for it all. You cannot beat us. Welcome to OT7. What a catch. Over the middle, taking a shot deep. Oh, touchdown. Do you want sick highlights? Oh, my God, what a catch. Insane rivalry. They play. They play like dogs. And incredible ballers having the time of their life. They're going crazy. And two other players have more fun than this. Then this is the place for you. We are ready for an action-packed night of boxing. It's about giving the boxes more opportunity. This is OTX Friday Night Fight. He just got blasted. Bring me my stats. 
and he is looking to eat right now. Big left hand, and down goes Swero. Final moments. OTX, we go to an overtime round. OTX Boxing is still undefeated. If you want to play above the ring, you got to be locked in. But if you vape, it could hold back the entire team from rising to the occasion. Vapes can contain toxic chemicals that could damage your lungs and the team. All right, let's get back to the game. One bucket can change the momentum of the entire game. If there's one weak link, the whole team suffers. So remember, vapes can contain toxic chemicals that can damage your lungs and the team. All right, let's get back to the game. I'm 15 years old and live a crazy life. There's another closet over here. <laughs> My mom is a world famous singer. How much are you per year? Well over 200,000. I play at OT under the bright lights. Laura Mello. And I have to balance family, friends, school, and fame. Bro, why don't they say you're like Ellis, bro? I'm going to start you in the second half. You miss, I swear you're coming out. I miss. There's anyone who can do it. Wait a minute. I'm the one. The Romello Show premieres tonight. Follow along as Romello navigates life, basketball, and what it means to just be mellow. Comment. AMP sent me here within the first 30 minutes of the premiere, and OT is going to pick one lucky fan to win $500 of overtime apparel. Uh, Romello, the one, is dropping tonight, literally right after the game, so you can check for it right here on the OTE YouTube channel. Go ahead, comment that, man. AMP sent me here. AMP sent you here. And hopefully they send you that babe collab. That was tough. They definitely oh, sent it to me. Collab. Well, they're not going to send it to me either. I'll tell you that. <laughs> I didn't ask for that collab more time than I asked for a raise. Hey, hey, hey listen, bro. I hey, stopped hey, asking for it. You're done. Uh, <laughs> I stopped asking for it. Well, welcome back to second half action. It's the third quarter. The Reapers dominant in that first half. Come back time. Wow, Cole Hart. Trey Parker for three. They're going to need Trey to step up in this game, man. He had, he had 20 points in the last one. Might need 25 out of him today. Man, like I said, man, very, very Marquette D Wade esque. Bro, you got to stop with that comparison. Can you stop, please, bro. This is so. Ja'Kai Howard. Missing that. But. Yeah, man. You ever lose your train of thought mid sentence? All the time, man. Bryson Tiller having a solid game. For the city Reaper. Oh my goodness, left hand like a left handed player. Doing exactly. A nice save there from Taylor. Got though. Back. Thorns, get it back. There's Trey Parker. He's gonna shoot that. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's a wrong. That's a wrong. No. I'm, I'm he, so he, furious. He, he, just, he just messed up a gym. That was some highlight clip. Can he do it? Yo, he, oh, Lord. Yeah, he, looked at, he, he wiped his hands off. Of a yeah, 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 I did that one. <laughs> I've done that before. Crickets. <laughs> Should have ate that popcorn. Bryson Taylor, three ball. Oh, oh my God. Bro, so to, have a, bro, to have a big man be able to do that, bro. Man, his shot is so wet, man. I think, I think we forget he's only a junior, bro. I know. Now, the fact he'll be back there, shoot. <laughs> that is a fight. Michael over to call the wrong. Might have been in travel. Corner. Oh. Then back for Ralph. Wow. Oh, goodness. MVP. MVP. That's the real double O for now on. <laughs> that easy to lose your nickname, I guess. Hey, imagine how crazy Bryson Tiller would go, right? If you leave OTE and go to a regular, regular high school. 65. <laughs> 65 points. <laughs> Same with B. John. B. John traveled. Great defense. Everyone, everyone, if they just went to a, like a normal high school, is putting up Will numbers. Okay. That's like, that if was Trey good. Parker went to a normal high school, we like the second coming of Zion. <laughs> no, you know what's funny? Great run, first of all, by the Colharts. Stemmed by a Ralph Martino fadeaway three. <laughs> Let's talk about Trey Parker, man. Been doing great on defense, getting loose balls, and turn I'm up. telling you, the play style, I've been trying to tell you, bro. I've been I, trying to tell you, big bro. I feel like he's like lean, he's like leaning into the team leader role. Look at this, look at this. Step bit. back, fade away three. Bang. 
That's the new double O. He got agent, he got agent threes on Hall of Fame. Man, if Chris McDonald was in this building, he'd be having a blast right now. The Dougie is on. <laughs> I saw some of the kids. Oh. Congratulations to all the people, all the players selected to the OTE first and second team. It, it doesn't hit you until you put them all on one team, but there's a lot of talent in the league, man. Yep. <laughs> yeah, he did tired of me. Did I? <laughs> Man, if you ever got the chance to look at, you know, college Joe Johnson uh, highlights, man. What college did Joe Johnson go to? Listen, man, Arkansas, clearly. Okay. I'll Why you are you playing with me? I'll give you that. I'm not just making things up. You, you did not watch. I watched every single game he played in. Wow, nice move right over top, John. Call the wrong. Hey, call the wrong to start doing that more often. Like if he get the ball, he just needs to start taking it the whole way. Okay, Davis, listen, buddy. Please. Stop trying to convince us that you know ball. <laughs> okay. That's all you've been doing for the past two days. My bad, man. You've been making very historic references. <laughs> okay. And we get it. We understand. You're, you're, okay. You know ball. Or at least I get it. Thank I get you. It. He posted on the corner, back out to Amari. Oh, Slipped up a little bit, they call it travel. Yeah, hey. Oh, Hart's got takeover right now. Get back in this game, Trey Parker. And oh, he's an eight-point game. Oh my gosh, he traveled. Michael, they need it. Oh, that would be huge. That would be, that would be the momentum shifter itself. Michael with only three points, man. If he was to come alive, it would really, really help right now. Listen, I like my hair. Stop. Right? Ooh. I like my kid, but I've been telling y'all that, like, he had the first two good games of the season. Yeah. And after that, I haven't seen a, a, a Michael performance set. So you're saying he only had two games, good games this season? No. He's a crucial part of the offense. No, I know. I'm just saying, but you're saying he only had two, like, good games this season. I, I might have to do my research on that. Okay. I mean, he's shooting, like, 34%, so. Right. So what are you trying to say? I'm trying to say he needs to be more efficient. I think, yeah. Uh -huh. All around in the corner. Had a couple thoughts about it, but drives instead. Left hand hook. Man. Oh, hold on, oh, man. Left hook, oh, man. Very hold on, man. Bro, hey, look, we said one of them gonna have to like step up, and he's stepping up for Kenny Kendrick. Huh? He he, he he definitely going crazy. Robinson to Amari, Amari over to Mustaf. Oh, air ball. My goodness. This one, three minutes, 55 left to go in the, in the third. We'll be right back. Hey, man, a lot more basketball is being played right now. Hey, listen. If the cohorts got any chance of coming back, it is on the back of the best person in the building, Ralph Martino. Now look, he just hit one of the craziest step back threes of the season, and I feel like maybe if he can get it going, it definitely helped. Now Michael Brown, who's one of the best guards in the country, so far he's been struggling. We need him to come alive. By we, I mean the cohorts. They need him to come alive right now if they have any chance of winning this game. But that's why I need y'all right now in the chat to talk to me and let me know who's getting this W. I'm in the chat right now, right? What I'm saying is, where's Big Ja? Big Ja subbed out, man. They got a lead right now. They don't need to spam Big Ja. They already win it. In my opinion, Big Ja is partly one of the reasons why they win it. Player to half, 12 points to half. He only missed one shot underneath the basket. And honestly, they don't really have nobody that can guard him. Marcus Ponder isn't getting play time for whatever reason. I don't know. I think he should be playing. But I ain't Coach Lato. I ain't got two championships here at OTE. I ain't going to fake it like I do. All right. What else we got in the chat, man? Come on, man. I'm in here. OTE, shout me out, please. Shout out to Rish. 
I don't know how to pronounce your last name, buddy, and I'm not going to embarrass myself trying to do it. All right? Next up, we got, what are your opinions on Duke commentating this game? Well, hey, man, shout out my brother Duke Dennis. I feel like he, he brings uh, a, a, a lot of comedic relief to the guys up there at the booth, man. It's a tough job talking about the game. You know, not everybody is a basketball savant like our own Davis. You know what I'm saying? It, everybody doesn't come from a basketball background and have the privilege to be ranked, uh, go to these top camps around the country and be able to give us insight like uh, I'm Davis. So I, I appreciate what, what my dog bring to the broadcast. Um, last but not least, Jaden Musaf. He's headed to Georgia Tech. He's been balling. And he's also one of the best guards here. Make sure y'all pay attention to him because he liked that. See y'all a little bit later. I hate two tall songs. Here's the all OTE first team. Eli Ellis, Ian Jackson, Carter Knox, John Bowl, and Rakees Passmore. That is a star-studded lineup, man. I got the beat in the Pistons. They're not thinking swept by the Pistons, but they could beat a G League team. A whole bunch of D1 teams, that's for sure. Del Brown. I think I think Del Wright definitely needs to step up. Cross court, no ball gets tipped. You can step up too by getting your team assists. That's your brother? Yeah. Oh, he's here. In the building. Oh man, I didn't say hi. You just saw. Oh, you just saw. I saw him on the cam. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Nan, layup goes. Oh, that was, that was For the record, your brother's a way better friend than you. Wait a minute. Why? Why did you say that? Your brother's a great guy. Excellent guy. One of the best guys. Mustaf over to Robinson. Robinson on Amari cut. No great ball defense. gets picked. Uh oh, Showtime. Oh, Showtime. Hey, Nan. For real, for real. Emma, it's foul. You can't just keep throwing around words like Showtime. Why? Reminds you of the Lakers back in 2000s? Yeah, just like Magic wouldn't be happy about it. You can't turn the ball over and then you the one jog back. Come on, man. And you can't front when you don't know if it's backside. We're joined with Coach Doug. Make him, see it. Make him score over top of you. Coach, you can hear me? I can hear you. How you doing, Coach? I'm good. No, 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 no. No, let me talk to him. Why did you say who? When, when Sniper asked about me. <laughs> hey, hey, well, first of all, I can barely see you over the desk over there. So I know you never got a bucket. <laughs> well, why is he talking to delay, me like this? Delay, 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 delay. Yo, that's. <laughs> Yo, okay, I'm no sitting down. I'm, first but, of all, I'm sitting but, down. Oh, how about this? Don't, you started off by saying, uh, no disrespect. <laughs> Right? Right, right. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I remember this. I'm gonna remember this, all right? I'll remember this. What, yeah. what, what do you mean you're gonna remember it? For what? What does that mean? He's a Cold Hearts fan now. I'm he, a Cold Hearts fan. He's always been a Cold Hearts fan. Look, look, look y'all better get those done right now. Look. Okay. All right. That's great. We do it. Hey, guys, appreciate you for joining us. We'll let you focus on the game, man. Thank you. <laughs> Is it more valid? No, it, it didn't come from me. Ball. What, what are we doing? I don't know. What are, you tell me. What did we just run right there? Is that delayed? You want me to call every play? <laughs> yeah. That's what you get, buddy. Oh, I don't know why my dad's disappointed in my play call for the day. <laughs> now, that was crazy, though, David. I ain't gonna lie. Everybody keep disrespect. Everybody keep disrespecting you and your and your uh, your ranking. Whatever. What number was that, by the way? Hey, help me out. You know, right? Okay. It was. In the, uh, it, was it, it, it was. It was. It was. You were just right. Hey yo! Hey yo! Nice layup, bro. It was in the 30s. It was in the 30s. And that's great, bro. I swear that's great. I was never ranked, so I, you know that's great for me. That's for you. Okay. So my team was was ranked seventh in the state uh, at its highest. Were you the best player? Oh wow! Oh. Cool, Why are you were you lying? the best player? It was me and another guy. It was me actually and two other guards that I felt like were the best players. To a certain extent, that was a no. Agent. No, well, <laughs> yeah, you know, no. Oh, wow! Howard. What? Wow. That was some power right there. That was the strongest. For those, yeah, for those who was, you know. Nah, I'm just, you know, I'm a humble guy. Snipe is right, man. If Michael gets going, the game looks very different from Cold Hearts. 
man. He just right about sniping him right, man. Mustaf, top of the key over to Jakai. Deep three. Ah, ah, three balls got so much better this year, even though he missed that. Yeah, he used to be a quarter three demon, but now he's pulling up from anywhere. Quarter three. So Michael. You gotta start hitting. Oh, man. Yeah, it's looking at me. Is the rim mic'd up? <laughs> That's crazy. Amari for Good three. Shot. Good shot. Bang. Good shot. I seen it. I seen it. Oh. I seen it. Yeah. Now they back up to now they back up 10. Oh yeah. Kohar definitely went on a fantastic run to start the, you know what I'm saying, third quarter, but hey man, they, they put they let they put up off the gas, man. Starting a three-guard lineup here with Michael AO and Trey on the time at the same time. Hey, no cap. Mikhail oh. shoot shooting the cohorts out of the game. I, I, I think he's shooting wow. them out, <laughs> Out the game. Out the game is insane. Uh, Robinson Yo, on the drive. I'm wow. I'm so serious, though. I'm so serious. He's literally slept on. But oh, not, yeah, even, yeah. not even just in the league. I'm sorry. I'm talking about on his own team. Oh, he yeah. Deserves, he deserves a lot more looks. Yo, I asked him who his player comparison is. He said Austin Reeves, man. I'm starting to see a little bit more. That's great. Bro. That's great. Michael, Michael Brown is 0 for 7. <laughs> yeah. That's tough. Yeah, some of it is just great defense from the City Reapers. Others is just not being able to make shots. And I mean, he's just like 28 feet out, to be fair. That's his his range. But um, it's not dropping, man. Yeah. It is, it is For the City Reapers, though, man, they're on a little bit of a run here. Pushing back. It is much madness. Nice, strong response. Bryson Tiller, such a pivotal role for this team. I love his post game, man. I truly believe he's the best post player here at OT. Showing you his range. Couple three point shots here today. Bang. And Bryson Tiller gets hot, man. He is very hard to slow down. Man, I have a lot of respect for these athletes, man. The conditioning, the intensity that the playoffs comes with, it's nothing to be played around with, man. I played one fake tackle football game two days ago, and my shoulder still can't move. Your shoulders messed up? Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, wow. Now we're cooked. We're cooked. My for... neck is still fried. My whole body is sore. Now we're cooked. Uh, Phantom fell on his knee. Kai has a shoulder and ankle yo, problem. Now we're Chris' shoulder and knee is messed. Wait, 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 wait. We need a physical therapist. Wait, in the wait, house. wait. How about, a, how about the oldest in the group? But I, I don't be getting injured and stuff like You know what it is? Bro? I don't either. You know really? what it is? Yo, look, I've never seen you get injured. Like, why, why is that? What? Um, um, the like, only thing I could think of. Hold on. No like, matter what you respond, injured, it's going to be. Me? <laughs> <laughs> no, hey, like, don't even ask that question, I, I, buddy. I, I, to be honest, I think it's not a. It's not, it has nothing to do with me. It's, it's no. everything to do with y'all. No, it's because you do athletic stuff more. But I also don't get injured. No, he does. We need to take the. What is the last time you have seen me out for injury? Uh -oh. Jakai on a fast break. Oh. Gets blocked. Robinson on the putback. It goes. I'm, I'm gonna start putting him in, him in the goat conversation. In the what? The goat. The goat. The goat conversation. Yeah. Um. Goat no. role players. Yes. I can see that. Nah, John Day Walker is the goat role player. Nah, no, no. John Day <laughs> take a walk with me, Walker. Rob Martino. Oh! Martino. Hey man. Is there a shot he won't take? And is there a shot he won't make? <laughs> That's how was fire, though. Hey, 56 to 45, the Cold Hearts, they needed that one. We'll be right back. just seen one of the craziest threes of the night by Ralph Martino, but they're going to need a lot more than that to get into this game. They came, they came back in the beginning of the third, but somehow, someway, the game got beneath them, and the City Reapers wind up storming again. Now, fourth quarter, as y'all know here at OTE, it's always more time on the clock in the fourth quarter than any other quarter. So if comeback is possible, it has to happen now. Chat, let me know in the comments who should be the MVP so far, all right? Not the MVP, player of the game. Who should be the player of the game so far? It's a lot of contestants. I'm not really sure, but a lot of people was going crazy over that Ralph Martino three. Quick, Ralph Martino has been here. He was here last year. He's here this year. 
He's one of those players that's been going under the radar for a while now, and I felt like if he was given the opportunity to play, he would definitely be able to exceed. And I still feel like he's been able to exceed, but I still feel like the world hasn't seen the Ralph Martino that I've seen. I've been able to work out with him, train with him. Last year when I used to come into OTE on the weekdays, I would get up shots, I would be on a gun. Me and Ralph would pull up and work out together. He was super nice, really nice. So I'm telling y'all, Ralph Martino, he's somebody y'all should look at for real. Who's better, Bryson Tiller or Santo? Man, that's tough. I believe that Bryson Tiller has a better offensive game, but when it comes down to protecting the paint and being dominant, it's Santo. So I guess it really depends on which kind of player do you like. Do you like a dominant rim protector or do you like a player like Bryson Tiller who's more all around? Bryson Tiller can shoot the three, he can face up, his footwork is great, he got both hands. But on the other end, Santo is like a baby Dwight Howard. Anything that comes to the rim, he's blocking or challenging, and he's probably gonna get Three to four dunks a night, which is kind of impressive. But back to the game. I want to take this time right here to shout out tonight's Adidas 6 fan, Mac Mefford from Versailles, Kentucky. Mac's favorite OTE team is the Cold Hearts. His favorite player is none other than one of the best dunkers in OTE, Trey Parker. Mac, appreciate you, man. Thank you for being a fan here, a super fan here at OTE. Snipe is joined with him right now. Hey, man, I got Mac with me right now. When I asked him before the camera come on, do you got a little game in you? Can you hoop? Uh, if you was to compare your game to anybody out here on the court, who would you compare it to? I would say Big Man 34 down there in the paint. Big Man, Big Jock? Yeah. Ah, uh, so you play, like, in the post. You, you're a post player? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay cool. Now, look, I know you're a Cold Hearts fan, but right now it's not looking like y'all gonna get the W. Do you think y'all can come back in the fourth quarter? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. You just gotta take, stop making these mental errors. What mental errors? Like, you, I wanna know if you was a coach right now, what would you change out there on the court? They just keep making these stupid passes and shooting, shooting shots that are covered. They need a good to open man. Now, if you was on the court, how many points would you be able to put up? Like, two. Two points? That's a solid two points. Maybe that two points is a game winner. See, they don't think about it like that. A.B. Last question, right? Who's your favorite player on the cohorts? Trey Parker. Trey Parker. Why Trey? I just thought, like, the way he can jump. Yeah, got bounce. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's just a leader out there. Thank you, Mac. I appreciate you, man. I hope you enjoy the rest of the game. I'm back to you guys. Man. Mac kept it real. A lot of people, uh-oh. Oh, my Cookies. God. I was like, oh, I want to see Robinson head the ball. <laughs> He immediately got the ball stolen. Uh-oh. Alley-oop pass. Hey, nah, and oh. it goes. I, I definitely was going to hit my golf and then put down my headset if you, want, if you missed that. Nah, you just would have seen somebody at, at the score center. <laughs> <laughs> Thought about it. No. Back to... They're trying to get it into jaw the past couple possessions. That... They got they AO guard in shooting job. foul. <laughs> they head to the line for one. Ayo hey, guard job is insane. That is very insane. <laughs> what do you expect him to do, bro? Well, his player comparison from you is none other than Michael Jeffrey Jordan. Trey checking back in. You got to stop with them MJ right now. I didn't do that. I, yeah, I never said you that. did. It's documented. I didn't say that. Almost lost the ball. Mustaf gets it right back. Do you have a player comparison for Mustaf? That's probably the one I'd be most interested in. What a great you know, shot. You know, bro, I, I tried. You can't. It's, it's, it's kind of hard. It's, it's, it's like very ben hard. Like Ben Simmons, maybe? No, not at all. He can, uh, he can ben shoot. Simmons is more Darian Sutton. in the world? Darian Sutton is Ben Simmons, for sure. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, that, that's a compliment. It's a compliment. I'm talking about Ben yeah, Simmons. No, I'm talking about LSU, high school Ben Simmons. Corner sure. three. Wing corner three. Mike Kell on a fast break. Deep three. Can he break the streak? No. And I don't think Mike Kell is straight young. Okay. One bad game, you say that? No, I was saying that when he was going, like, it's not. I just don't. I no, just that's don't. literally his play style. He has the ball on the string like Trey does. I mean, hey, man. Oh, oh goodness. You see, you you see how you got done? You're like, you're done comparing already? You see that? No, he shoots the same shots as he does. He makes yeah, the same shots as he does. Robinson falls to the floor, but gets the pass off. Oh, bucket. Okay, you I actually think they need to run the offense to Trey. I'm so serious. Corner three for AO. Money. Right. Eight point game. Don't sleep. Good shot right there. Hey, hey the Cohorts can sneak. It doesn't seem like this game, like the, the, the City Reaper season, could be over because they're up. But if the Cohorts can just close these last nine minutes out, go on a run, they can 
Get a little bit of rest. It's crazy to see like, like City Reapers had full control of the entire game. You look up, they put eight points, bro. Yeah, but up eight points, yeah. Like Kohar's really inconsistent with their runs. Like they'll go on a run and then they'll Yeah. So basically they want consistent run away from winning. Because even though they've been consistent, they're down eight. Yep. Whatever. <laughs> Yo. When logic makes too much shit, I'm done. Yeah. Eight point game with nine minutes left to go. I wonder why Marcus isn't getting like more playing time. They dominate in the paint and you got a seven footer. That's not playing. He is younger. Are they dominating the paint though? Yeah, the majority of their points is coming from right down low. Huh. Michael using oh. that high pick and roll, drives right. Floater gets swatted by Ja'Kai Howard. Oh. Jackson oh. Brown has the ice cold bar. Wow. Michael. One for 13 tonight. Yeah, man. That, that is, is that is one of them. Crazy stuff. That is a that is one of them. That is a tour date. <laughs> that's a that's a Twitter meme picture. Hey, did you say that's a tour date? That is definitely it's a, a tour date. date. It's <laughs> insane. I can't care. Ah. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, Michael Brown is gonna see you in the hallway and walk past. Hey man, Michael, a bucket, bro. You having a tough game though? Yeah, no, no, he definitely a bucket. <laughs> Hey, yo, back to Haynon. Pump fake step back and something was called. We're in the key, man. I ain't gonna lie. Those shoes you kind of got on, I just ordered them on GOAT. Yo, Duke Average is one order. I thought you ain't like the volume eight, bro. I don't, but I do now. It just dropped today. Uh, retail uh, 120, man. The Adidas Pioneer. They just blew the whistle to review whether or not it was a flagrant foul. Trey Parker got hit in the face. Tried to push through and play. Well, you could see him holding his face. I wonder what happened. I wonder what happened. Yeah, let's see what happened. I have no idea. Okay, so we'll get this. Definitely, uh, uninten definitely uh, unintentional. No one, no one needs rest. They might call that a flagrant one, though. Which one? Yeah. They play right here? Yes. No, 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 no. That one, that one, that one. Scott, he got hit in the mouth with a close fist. No, no, no. It's nothing. Hey, let's go, let's go, let's go. They didn't even, okay. Hey, let's go, let's go. No, we ain't looking at that. What? <laughs> why not? Yes, I guess it's the common foul then. I'm headed to the ref now to see what was going on. I ask him why he decided to not look at that. Mr. Ref. They already, they already looked at it, Coach. They looked at it already. Okay. That's a simple. No, but they looked at it. Mr. Ref, what happened? Coach trying to argue his case here. He saying maybe they should look it over. I'm going to go to the monitor and look at it, but they had already checked the same one. Okay. So Coach Leto just is mad that he didn't go back to the camera and look. No flavor foul. Boss call was made. Mustaf back to Jakai. Oh, hold on. What are we holding on for? You know, if I was playing at the playground, man, and that happened to be right there, I'm yelling. And one! Agent. You're mid. Oh, my goodness. He dropped him. Lee Logan. Yeah, you know what I miss, man? I miss the days when we used to go to the gym and hoop together. Like, Word. us. And I remember the last time we went and hooped together, a, a white kid dropped 11 points on day. <laughs> he That's did, and he came fact. up to 15. Bro, and he came up to 15. I was so mad, bro. Yeah. I've never seen, like, somebody who was nationally ranked get outplayed by a wreck gym. random. A wreck random. <laughs> but, but no shot, though, David, bro. That made me so Off mad, bro. Oh, Ja'Kai Howard. Oh, Ja'Kai Howard. Robinson. Oh, I thought he was <laughs> nah, that's crazy. I thought he was about to be yammed. <laughs> David, do you, do you care to expound on Duke Dennis's thoughts? Hey, Parker, man. I guess not. Oh, my goodness. Trey for D3. Off the mark. That's not true. Full court pass. Robinson. He, he got a whole lead. witness, bro. He got a whole witness. Hey, nah. Nah, nah Duncan Robinson. 
<laughs> Duncan Robinson's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> You're Part cooking. A. You're cooking. Have us to the best of us, man. Part, but, but hold on now. Don't disrespect, <laughs> now. Don't act like Duncan Robinson isn't, you know what I'm saying, a great basketball player. He's not great. Great is, is a stretch. No, I know, I know I know. Parker Robinson is the one on the floor. I'm talking about since I, he was mistaken for Duncan. You know, Duncan is in, is in the league right now. Yeah. 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 He is in the league. You're right about that. Davis, what college did he go to? Can Duncan he do Robinson. it again? Yeah. He is on fire. It's wrapped. 67 to 52. Duke says it's wraps. I'll see you on Google, too, <laughs> by the way. We'll be right back. <laughs> Our own Am um, Davis was caught in 4K trying to lie about his basketball knowledge. I asked him where did Duncan Robinson go to, and I seen him on Google search a mile away. The answer was Michigan. He played with Jordan Poole. Anyway, 52 to 67, the Reapers are looking like they might get away with this W. I mentioned to you earlier that Michael Brown has to play better if the City Reapers were going to lose. Unfortunately, today is just not his day. And this is one of the best players in the country. It can happen to anybody. I need y'all to let me know down below in the chat who do y'all think is hooping the most right now? Who would be the most valuable player at the game tonight? I'm looking in the chat right now. There's really no telling. Somebody is saying that I'm Davis would lose to me 1-14. to 14. Okay, so what I'm not going to do is pile on. All right? uh, uh, my boy Davis can hoop. And uh, if you're ever in the Atlanta area, this player won't be one to take your chances. I ain't going to lie to you. Parker Robinson is him. Now, one thing about Parker Robinson a lot of people don't know about, he – is very close friends with AO, and I believe he was the last addition to OTE this year. And in my opinion, he got a lot of game that hasn't been seen yet as well. I think the City Reapers just been using him as a catch and shoot player, which is perfectly fine. They can shoot the ball with the best of them. But his athleticism is insane. The first time I met Parker Robinson, he had tape around his wrist. I asked him why. He, could, he hurt his wrist from dunking too much. He has bounce. He can dunk. He can get up there. I don't even think he has a dunk on the season, which to me is insane. But I would love to see a Parker Robinson fast break just for y'all to be able to see that. And he said he wanted to be able to handle the ball and kind of create a little bit more offense. He said his game is closer to Austin Reeves. However, he don't get the opportunity to play that way. That's what it's like here at OTE, man. You got to think he playing with a team of nothing but five-star commits and D1 talented athletes. So can't always rock out. Uh, last, <laughs> somebody says on Google blatantly. Absolutely. Caught him in 4K on Google. Uh, this man has no shame. All right, guys. See y'all a little bit later. Well, just like that, man, it's fourth quarter action here. Do or die game for the City Reapers. If they lose this one, they go home. Start the bus. But uh, Cold Hearts down two of their best players in that John Bowl and Cannon catching. City Reapers taking full advantage of big in this one so far. Oh, my goodness. I'm 15. I didn't realize. Anon for three, they need it. Rebound for Ponder goes up and in. W bucket. Mustav pushing the ball up the court. Yo, one thing I love, no joke, Trey brings 150%. Oh my goodness, uh, every, every possession. That's a great defense. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he tried. But he just tried to catch one, but I don't count. <laughs> we got the cash app locked down at the game. Well, Trey Parker again, man. This time with a steal. Nice that. little poke. Give me that. Easy lay on the other end. Yeah, that's the type of defense you want out of your guard. He's been playing it all game long. They're down a lot right now, but he's not playing lazy as a result. You never know who's watching. Ball. All right, it's a 15-point game, man. I generally think the offense, he run through Trey Parker, man, all their own. There we go. I actually love those. Me too, man. Ponder doing a great job on the offensive rebounds. No, though. Another offensive rebound. Uh, teammates, the teammates are fine over it. But you see the impact that Ponder is making. Right? He's got a big right. body. You're actually right. I 
don't know why he didn't start. I mean, he ain't got to play all the minutes, but it, at least give you a look, an opportunity. Yeah, don't ever question Coach Lato's genius. You're absolutely right, but I'm saying, my, my, my point is being proven here, buddy. The defensive player. Full oh, court oh. pass up to Bryson Tiller on the fast break. Layup misses, though. Corner through for Trey Parker. Come. Ball to Rowan trying to close the gap. Hey, yo, you need this. Foul called, and it will be City Reaper basketball. Man. Unfortunately, man, I just can't make shots tonight. That's the way it is, man. If I'm Ja'Kai Howard, I'm going for a mean 360 windmill. He could probably do that. We got a big bonus for the City Reapers. Cold Hearts fouled, and they're over the foul limit, so City Reapers will get a 5v4 advantage with 14 seconds on the shot clock. Should lead to an open shot. Mustaf. Corner three. Out to Amari. No. Goes right off Ja Jackson's hands. Yeah, them, get, them not getting that rebound was the dagger. <laughs> With five minutes left? With six minutes left. Six seconds left in this big bonus. Okay, that was bad. No, that, that, no that, that was a bad. <laughs> I don't care if they come right here and make a three. Hey, look, man, they won Ralph Martino step back away from being back in this game. No, they're six. Ralph Martino. <laughs> <laughs> step back three's away from being back in the game. Oh! oh. Blocked from behind by Trey Parker. And what do you know? And, and he, the wants score it. he wants it. He wants one. Goat Martino, check it back in, man. The real double O. Man, AJ had his nickname for one quarter. Hey, man. Mm. That's how it is. Jeff Parker is the best guard defender besides Amar Evans. Is that crazy? Oh, my God. Oh. Tough foul. And Ja'Kai heated. He didn't like that at all. They can't really afford to ask somebody out right now. They only got, like, five people They're in They're literally going to have to ask Sniper to play. He didn't look angry when he fell, but, like, at the Dodge 170, man, he got up. <laughs> I, just want, I just want to see it again. Yeah. Can we see it again? <laughs> that was like a, a football play, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. Yeah. So I think it was a yeah, it was definitely a wrap up. Okay. Hey, Mr. Ref. Ah, uh, that's a lazy that, foul. Are, are y'all calling that a common foul or is that a technical foul? What are we doing? Uh, it should be an F1 uh, flagrant foul. Oh, so y'all foul wow. for excessive and uh, unnecessary behavior. See, back in my day, that that's a common foul. No, nah, man, that's a get your butt kick foul. Oh man, hey, 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 hey the ref's getting a little antsy, man. Back to y'all. <laughs> I don't want none of that. Hey, I I know who the ref's favorite uh, SpongeBob character is. Flats. <laughs> Flats. <laughs> hey, chill out. Guy's gonna shoot the flagrant free throws. He's gotten so much fundamentally better this season. What do you mean by that, Davis? Just shooting a lot better, playing a lot better defense. So fundamentals, you meant shooting a defense? <laughs> That's just one uh, my point I just exactly. had to touch on. <laughs> yo, 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 y'all gotta stop, man. Hey, what the right player, been bro? Been picked the part. Yo, weird. What in the world? Bad pass from Jakai gets picked off, and here oh, we go. Man. Hey, no! Dos Santos, right in the lane. <laughs> Yo, you tried to really hate me for no reason. I just, I just wanted you to answer that the was, question, bro. Yeah, I feel like we, we could have learned something with your answer. We could have. Big job. Close ears. Don't accept knowledge. You wouldn't gatekeep that type of knowledge, <laughs> would you? Hey, Parker. Oh. I'm pretty sure I heard the slap. Mustaf. I don't know if you meant to throw an alley. Oh, oh Jaden oh, Mustaf broke his ankle. Uh, I heard something. So I, I took a exercise science class when I was in uni. Cut his mic production. <laughs> oh, hopefully he's okay, man. The medic is with him now. Here's the replay. Let's see what happened. Oh, oh, no, I'm tripping. Hopefully he's just here. slipped. Over here. Yeah. Oh, he'd be alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Okay. He'd be alright. Right here. Right here. 
Those are those are pretty pretty annoying. Adrian, I hate to see I, I hate to see Adrian as a parent. <laughs> That's the only thing I see after every injury. He'll be fine. Yeah, I mean, because he, he will be. Yeah, but like if it was a if it was a non-contact, I want you to show more empathy. He, he might get advantage. I'm being optimistic, man. You want me to say? I, I know a lot gonna, tougher like, guys than Jackson Bryson Killer. They're just punking all you guys. They're just punking you. I know a lot tougher guys. Amari is tougher than them too. I'm tougher than them too. Nothing. Nothing. Yo, let's go, oh, hey, 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 they down 20 points? Yeah. Oh, it's Rops. <laughs> hey, I ain't even really realized how to, you know what I'm Watch saying? Watch out, man. What if Kenny catches this comes from the tunnel right now? Well, he, he wouldn't have to come from the tunnel. He's on the back of the bench. <laughs> he just put his jersey on. With a hell star shirt. He's uh, what if he just put, what if he put his jersey over his hell star shirt? Yeah, those are the two players. And they started. Oh, Could have used tonight. They started shooting one dribble pull-ups. <laughs> that would be the craziest story. <laughs> if he come out down 20 with four minutes left and come back, don't want to see no man. They have no answer for that man. And one continuation. <laughs> now look, you see, you see how Snipes said and one though, but he bet foul. <laughs> He said continuation. That's what he could have, but no answer. I never heard that one called continuation. Yeah. I like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, goodness. Hey, Nod. All the way to the rim. Peter Reaper's asleep. Trying to wake him up. Right. <laughs> I mean, I would prefer multiple three pointers that, that goes in. Ball uh -oh. rolling. Hey, Nod. It's foul. Hey, you, know, you can actually tell he's trying, though. Yeah, yeah. Trying. Let me Trey Parker give him 150. Here's a look at Hanon's dunk. That's enough time for a comeback. I mean, yeah, but you don't have to go on like a 18-0 yep. yeah. run. It has to be crazy. But hey, tough nose plays like that, hey, they can get you inspired. Make sure you come back Monday at 7 p.m. to see the Game 3 finale of this series. If the City Reapers hold on to make this a 1-1, it's a win-or-go-home situation who will make it to the finals and continue their quest to be called an OTE champion. Be sure to tune in 7 p.m. Monday on YouTube and Prime Video. I just see crazy things happen in the playoffs, so I never lose hope personally. It'd be insane, too. Especially when you have Ralph Martino, A.O., Trey Parker, and Coach Leto. Stranger things have happened. Look like we're going to a game three, fellas. We might be going to a game three. Yeah, we are 100%. Okay. 76 to 60. It is a 16-point lead for the Cedar Reapers. They're in full control. We'll be right back. Hey, man, City Reapers is handedly coming across with the W. It's no telling. Maybe the cohorts should come back. But it's looking like it's going to be a game three. If there is a game three, who do you all have a winning game three? It's winner take all. Remember, no candy catches, no John Ball, no John Ball. Maybe they play in game three, and we got a whole new discussion. Not to mention, hey, look, Coach Lato, he's won championships before. He got championship pedigree. I know he's going to be well prepared for a game three. If it comes to that, I need y'all in the chat right now. Let me know who y'all got winning if it comes down to it. All right. So a lot of people are saying AMP should play. I'm going to be honest, man. AMP in the OTE game, it, these are the best, best talented kids in the world, man. I don't think it's going to be as competitive as y'all would like it to be. Even if AMP had one of the players from one of the teams, if, if AMP could pick any player, on any team to have on their team to go against these five, it'll still be tough. They don't have nobody seven feet. They don't have a Santo. They don't have a big job. It's it's tough, man. So I, for content, that'll be W, though. I'm not going to lie. What happened to Cannon? Cannon, I believe he rolled his ankle, so he's not playing tonight. And that's a big, big miss for the cohorts. You got to remember, Cannon catches came into this playoffs on another level. Hitting turnaround shots, the patent one dribble pull, 
he was locked in on another level, and he was helping the cohorts out offensively and defensively, and not having them has been a really big reason why they haven't been able to score. Offense get kind of stagnant. So if they have any chance of winning, I know Coach Lato is hoping that they can have a healthy cannon catches to be able to play some basketball. I already know that. A lot of people are screaming Reapers in the chat. Man, hey, Reapers looking like they're going to get the W. Maybe I wore the right hoodie today, you know what I'm saying? And he just scared me. I thought they was actually playing. I ain't hold <laughs> So that's why I was. But hey, man, more basketball coming up after this. Don't go anywhere. Parker, Parker Robinson, man, he's been playing great. He's been on a fast break. He's been hitting his shots. A little coming up party for Parker Robinson, man. Usually reserved to kind of just spot up shooting, but been doing a lot offensively for his team here today. It's been nice to see him more involved in the offense, guys. I agree. He's a bucket. I've been trying to tell you all season he's a bucket. You were not saying that all season. I was. You were right about Larry Johnson. He wasn't talking about Parker Robinson the same way. Not the same way, because Parker Robinson is not Larry Johnson. Quick inbound and Cole Hartz begin their comeback. Mikael Brown, he about to start it right now. I guess not. Oh, he is one for 14. Now he's doing back-to-back -back dates. <laughs> Slow down, date. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> <laughs> he's doing back-to-back. -back. Bryson yeah. Tiller, that's a tough yeah. one. Guy gets it right back and puts it in. He got 113 on the calendar and 114. Is he coming for 150? He might be doing the Beyonce three nights in a row. Oh, no, he's got catch, no, catch him in February, people. Uh, nah, catch him in February? Yo. Hey, nah, you hear that, my girl? <laughs> yeah. Hey, my girl, you hear, you hear that? Sniper hey, Joe. Hey, hold up. Hey. <laughs> That's crazy. Hey, that crazy. hey my girl. <laughs> my girl, Sniper Joe. Oh, that crazy. Hey, my girl, that is, hey, that, that is Sniper Jones, by the way. Nah, Sniper Jones started singing Sold Out Day. It's, it's, by <laughs> you literally saw those lyrics. Oh my God. You literally saw those you're lyrics. You're gonna be in the hallway and you're gonna be like, oh, what's up, Markel? You got draw snitches and then you got flat out telling. That was just flat <laughs> out telling. It was nothing remote about that at all. Uh, Come on, man. <laughs> Big T, you start, you right, you start right here. You ducked in and then came up here. I can't just stay. What did you tell? Finish the Finish the game, fellas. Finish the game, man. Finish the game hard, man. We talked about this man at the start of the game. He had such a great game one. He's having a great game two as well. Been dominant the entire time and in a game where John Bowl and Kenny Catchings isn't playing. But you need to step up. There's no time to take your foot off the gas pedal, and he's done exactly just that. Bryson Tiller showing out for his team, and big part of the reason why they're up 15. All OTE second team. Look at that, man. 18 points, nine rebounds, two assists. That's solid. Nice until it. Uh oh. Euro. Nice floater. No. Jakan the rebound. You just try to dunk on everybody off her. Fellas, are y'all impressed with the City Reapers W? To be honest, no, because I know they're a great team and Cold Hearts don't have two of their best players. Right. It was expected. Yeah, it was, really. Kai Howard. 11 points on the night. Jakai missed the first free throw. A very nice alley-oop dunk. Jakai been straight, man, all season long. Showtime, Kai. To you, buddy. <laughs> what in the glaze? <laughs> I wasn't gonna say bro, 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 I wasn't bro gonna told say you. Nothing. Bro told you to. Make I sure gonna speak to somebody else. Time, <laughs> you speaking for somebody else. Bro. Hold on, hold on, buddy. Hold on, hold on. No, stop. Hold on. Hey, Coderon and Kenny catch it on this on the same floor at the same time. I'm, I'm, I'm right there, right there. Calderon is like 15 in the key right now. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like we let Davis get away with that a little too easy, but I gotta know. I know. 
<laughs> yeah, I feel so too. That's a little too insane. Right, but you're trying to get back so badly. No, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just literally uh -oh. pointing out. Hey! Yeah, you're trying to get back so much from yesterday when you told me that another grown man's hand made your hand feel so little and small. <laughs> little. <laughs> <laughs> hey, son. W-I-T-T-L-E. Yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh. It is a blowout, man. Cole Hart's really not. It's not even over. Struggling offensively, man, all game long, really. It's really not, by the way. Michael. Over to Trey Parker, he connects uh -huh. on the three-pointer. Hold on. Yeah. Just hold on. Come in. Snipes got Jaden Mustaf on the vibe cam. Hey, man, I got Jaden on a bike right now. Now tell, tell the world what you just told me <laughs> like five seconds ago. Before the game, we said we got 10 a.m. shooter on on Monday, and we got lift at 9. That means we knew he was coming here and get a dub tonight. So you came in before the game and already said game three coming. Y'all just got to be ready. Yeah. Coach, Coach Pat sent us in the text boy, this morning or last night saying he can't tell us playing Monday night. He's he, he going to be coaching it Monday night. What gives you so much confidence, bro? Every time I talk to you, bro, you're one of the most confident players here. I, w I want to know how you get that confidence. My whole family competitive, so I'm competitive. I don't like to lose, and I, de I, I definitely wasn't going on my senior year too well. Now, last but not least, you and Amari Evans said y'all can beat me and Davis 2v2. What's the score? If we play until 11, it's 11, no. If we play the 12? No, I don't. If we play the 12, it's still it's 12 up. Like, I, I told you, I'm guarding you, you're not scoring. And Davis, I, it don't matter who guard him, they dare guard him, he's not scoring. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, I, got, I can't let you talk to my dog like that, bro. I gotta go. Hey, back to you. Hey, Davis, bro, they, they know you're the weak link. I, it's nothing I can do about this. I'm, I'm gonna have to cancel oh the game. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm about to say. He said the air could guard him. Yeah, he doesn't believe that. The <laughs> air is crazy. Oh, man. Oh. Yeah, they gave Show him a Showtime, guy! I'm gonna get this man some D pads. Three back ball to back misses. Two for 15, 260. Back to back dates. Scott. Bryson Tiller <laughs> has the opportunity wow. to just wait this one out and Bye -bye. instead is gonna go ISO. A big slam for Big Jaw. And with 10 seconds left to go, they're going to hold it because they got risk. No, they don't. <laughs> Every point matters, brother. And with three seconds we left to go, the City Reapers take game two to tie the series 1 1, 85 to 74. We will see you Monday for game three of the OTE semifinals. Wow. See who we playing RWE in the final minutes. I feel like we expected this right here. 100%, man. With those two absentees, man, I think it's going to be very hard for the cars to win. City Reapers played excellent. They did what they had to do by any means possible. Duke, what are your thoughts on this matter? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Both definitely, uh, I, I want to see a, com a, a compete, a game where both teams compete. You know, it, it, it felt very one-sided with that. Yeah. Parker Robinson stepped up in a big way for his team. They've been hitting shots and things of that nature. Proud of him, man. Yeah, player of the game, man. Can't say I was expecting that right there, but City Reapers came out and did what they were supposed to do. They leave with the win. Eight for 12 on efficient shooting, 19 okay. points. I feel like he needs a bigger role on this team, man. Oh, yeah, 100%. Hey, but after this game, he definitely going to get what he deserved. Yeah, you got to earn your minutes, man. And Snipe looks like he's joined with him right now. Snipe, what's up, man? Hey, man, I'm with the one and only Parker Robinson. I talked to you earlier. You said you couldn't wait to be able to show the world that you're more than just a shooter. And I believe you was able to do that tonight. I mean, you know, I really try to take advantage of my shooting ability. So, you know, I knocked down a couple of shots. And then once they started closing out hard, I was able to rip down hill to see my teammates. Great job, down. Parker. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I mean, you know, shooting kind of... It lets me, it lets me work more off my game because once they think the shots come in, I'll blow right by them. So, all right, man. Look, you the player of the game. Of course, I need you to go ahead, sign out on that camera right there, my boy. Yes, sir. Parker Robinson, 
the OTE player of the game, and they will be forcing the game three against the Cohars. Good game tonight, bro. Back to you guys. Let's take a look at the playoff bracket. First game of the doubleheader, RWE won, means they take the series 2-0 against the first seeded Dreamers. And uh, Monday's gonna be the one that determines this, this game in the semifinals. So we'll see, man, will the Cold Hearts move on or will the Reapers move on to play RWE in the OTE finals? I'm 15 years old and live a crazy life. There's another closet over here. <laughs> My mom is a world famous singer. How much are these clubs in? Well over 200,000. I play at OT under the bright lights. Come on, Romello. And I have to balance family, friends, school, and fame. Bro, why don't they say you're like Ellis, bro? I'm going to start you in the second half. You miss, I swear you're coming out. I miss. There's anyone who can do it. Wait a minute. No. I'm the one. The Romello Show premieres tonight following this game right here, man. So it's going to go live on the OTE channel right after this. Follow along as Romello navigates life, basketball, and what it takes and what it means to be mellow. Comment AMP sent me here within the first 30 minutes of the premiere, and we'll pick one lucky fan and give them $500 of overtime apparel. Romello, the one dropping tonight right after the game, right here on the OTE YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining us. 85-74 is the final. Cedar Reapers take it. 1-1 is the series. We'll see you on Monday. That will determine who makes it to the finals. It's been your host, Agent Zero with Duke Dennis, and I'm Davis. Till next time. Peace.